me. I think we just started. But anyway, welcome to the live. Welcome to the Visible Visionaries. And I started this group for those of us who are basically spirit-based. Our time more than ever to have a voice, to be, that we have a contribution to be made to the planet, that we are here for this auspicious time because of our contribution to the planet. So join me. Um, I'm wearing this on purposes. Wait, it's a lucky charm. It's a lucky leaf for St. Patty's Day, or it's a burka. But I think it's I think it's actually a t-shirt sweatshirt. It's cool. Um, anyway, I uh, I'm excited to be with you. And I, so a few things based on yesterday. I am going to start and I want to tell you the funny things and I would love you to share your funny things because I think in these times there actually are funny, unpredictable things we wouldn't think about. You know, I just made an appointment with somebody and it's I'm, I'm notoriously really difficult to calendar, which is not something I'm proud of, by the way, that just means So that said, somebody was, uh, she said, oh, do we establish a date together? And I said, yeah, it was supposed to be for like some kind of crazy future date. But the funny thing is, I'm like, I'm pretty wide open. <laughs> and that felt so good to say. I thought, oh, okay. Actually, in this moment, actually manifesting it. Because I want to set new patterns. And that's absolutely one. I want a lot more spaciousness in my life a lot more freedom. I love to play. I love to laugh. So I want certainly a lot more time to be able to do that. So we are the visible visionaries. And the reason why it's called that is because we are the people who have a vision of what's possible. We do hold to be us, right? Definitely different. Most, most of us grew up feeling very gifted and uh, but came into our gifts later in life, fully understanding more why we're here and what it's all about and what we have to offer. A lot of times our wounds growing up were the very things that when we got on the other side of became our gifts out into the world, which is a gorgeous thing, right? To be able to use that. So I did an exercise today that was so powerful and uh, I'll share it with you later. And I want you to be, know that in the chat box, you can totally contribute. You can absolutely, I love this pillow and you're not even being able to see how gorgeous it is. It's actually like trees. Yeah, I really like it. Um, and you'll find out I'm very stream of consciousness. So I have a talking stick, if you know what this is. Or a rain stick, better known as. And I have some other shaman equipment. I love this and I love the noise or the sound, I should say. Just to get a visionary, I would love to know what it is that you're called to do at this time, meaning what is it you're noticing right now that you want to implement to change? I have a list, so, and I'm very happy to share, but I, I've been doing writing and I do have a list of things that I want to create without a doubt. I, I've, I've almost always, always meditated, but I have wanted to have a spiritual practice that's way deeper than that. And I really have wanted to just because I was really activated last year to go very deep into healing abilities. And then again, capacity bus busyness. A lot of the workshops that I had set myself up to attend, which literally was starting right now, clearly have had to be canceled. So the activations, the experiences, the bioenergy for today, not gonna happen. Will it be rescheduled? Of course it will. But I really get the inherent gift in that. And I feel like Source is saying, girl, I've been trying to get your attention for a long time. 
And now I really got it. You are locked out. Just you and me. And so, yeah, I'm going to be honoring that. Does it does yourself, your highest self, yourself as is, your soul. And that is muy importante. So that is my gift to me. And I have some practices around that I want to experience. Also, totally can do it in my living room, yoga, stretching, all of that. Uh, there's a process I want to learn called melt, which is um, really good for the back and the hips. And so I'll check out some YouTube videos and things like that. So what is it that you're working on that you want to go deeper on? Feel free to write in the chat because I'd love to hear from you too. And as far as hilarious things, okay. So you know about yesterday, just watch the replay because I have a bunch of things in there that are very interesting about this time. So I realized a new one today. So this is a product. I don't even know when I got this, but I will tell you that it has Retin-A in it. And I remember using it. And so Retin-A is generally a prescription in this country, in other countries, like just over the counter, like in Mexico and Canada, whatever. But here it's a prescription. And I have had this prescription and I've used it before, however long ago. But what happens when you use Retin-A is it makes your skin peel and then it helps you build up collagen. I mean, the whole reason is it's anti-aging and doctors have always said, oh, if there's one thing you could ever do, use this on a consistent basis. But I hate how my face looks peeling, right? Because I, I do so much with people in person and so I've really never used it. It's just sat on the shelf and I'm like, oh, who's gonna see me? Who cares? I'm gonna use Rene. Go ahead, shed like a snake. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So I'm totally gonna use this bottle. And the other thing is uh, I really like to do these you know practices for my hair. I'm actually a very naturally wavy hair, and so it's really good for me to, you know, do nurturing uh, things. And besides coconut oil, another thing that's beautiful for the hair is organic sunflower oil, which I have a huge bottle of. I'm never going to cook with it. And so, ta-da, I will, uh, you know, once or twice a week, I'll be doing some of these. I mean, it's going to be fabulous because my dog is going to love me no matter what. So yes, what are the things you're doing to um, haven't thought of doing and have been sitting on some shelf somewhere because you didn't want somebody to see you or maybe it's some clothing, maybe it's you know something you wanted to try out. The other thing I gotta say, it looks so great because I've gone out there and tinkered a little bit every day. I love gardening. I love, I'm a real nesty person. Like home is so important to me. Beauty in my home is very important. Clean. I don't like a lot of stuff. I can't stand clutter. And so I just went out there and I rearranged some plants. I repotted something. It wasn't a lot of work. That I can look out there and go, God, that looks so pretty. So that's been swell. And I took care of some errands today. Just there's a lot more ease in certain ways, right? Even on lockdown. So my visible visionaries, uh, for many of us, the fear, the anxiety, I'm just gonna move over this little thing here. So I can, but uh so for many of us, the fear, the anxiety, the over, right? And we're basically satellite dish. And the collective and a lot of not knowing and a lot of confusion and concern and how long and how much and I'm losing and I'm I don't know when this will end and what will be the impact and all of that. Then we tighten up our breath. And when we're in fear and over weakening our immune systems. And when that's happening, it's really hard for our bodies to heal. So what I'm saying is 
now more than ever, practices that are calming, practices that bring you back into your body. Here's the best thing you could do is grounding. If you can go outside from the earth into your body through your crown chakra and then bring the light from above through the crown chakra down your entire body and back into the earth and just breathe like that will completely shift your energy. It'll keep you really strong, keep your immune system strong, which as we know is very probably not going to get a virus. So better not to worry, better not to go into overwhelm. Just do your best to implement new practices. What practices have you really been wanting to play with that you have not had any time to do? The Talmud has an excerpt that says, angel looks over a blade of grass and whispers, grow, grow. So if we are all blades of grass on the lawn of life, what it is my observation that the that are uncomfortable is because they're begging to be healed. And so what I mean by that is words such as a breakup that can be painful or a situation like this. Actually, what we're in right now is so perfect. Let me just literally use the virus, right? Whatever feelings are coming up for you, that may be the reins of your day. They may be stopping you from having great night's sleep. They may be uh, causing you to eat more. They may be causing you to be in so much overwhelm or worry or concern or you fill in the blank. So what you're feeling actually, feel it. Because it's not just coming up to say, oh, I'm a result of what's going on out in the world. Because the truth is, there are a myriad of feelings and experiences people are having and none of them are right, but they are default patterns for each of us. And if it is coming up, it's much less about the result of what's happening out in the world. And if it's coming up right now because I'm, I've been living in this experience my whole life. Probably this is the trigger. Any kind of trauma or concern brings so for you, it is begging to be healed. If you're scrambling, however you're handling all of this, or if you're depressed, I know people are having a lot of different reactions out there. I also want to say this is a, an amazing time of kindness with people. I've had things happen that, I don't know, it's just so beautiful and meaningful. I was trying to mail these boxes yesterday and it was really a pain in the ass because it was heavy like these boxes were ridiculous and i'm not you know i'm only five four i'm not the biggest person and i work out ups was closed post office was closed and i was driving back and just i literally said a little prayer to god and said hey make this easy help me find somebody because i i don't i can't keep dragging these up and down the stairs and I literally was at the light to come to back to my place and what a UPS truck and I'm too far back and I'm thinking to I'm just like literally mentally to the cars in front of me go go please go <laughs> go faster so I can catch up and roll down my window and they did they followed my and I rolled down my window and I said to the gentleman who was driving the van, the UPS van, hey, would you be willing to pull over on the next street? Because 
I have something I have to ship and everything's closed. And I could see that moment of hesitation in him. And then I, I yeah, I'd be really happy to. What a nice guy. We parked, he jumped out of his uh, van, my the back of my trunk. And it was just like the nicest exchange. He took what I had and then, you know, he's like, be safe out there, you know, be well. I hope you're going to be okay. I was, I was super grateful. So I, I've seen a lot of kindness too. You know, even at the, I've had to shop. I mean, it's a for real thing, this toilet paper, people. Oh my word, it's for real. I've been to four stores. I have four rolls left. So I went to one store yesterday, even though they said they had it. By the time I got there, they said, oh, we had only three packages. They were gone. Oh my goodness. So I just bought napkins, right? And then today, I still had to go to the store because my dog's been sick. She is getting better. She threw up again today. She feels the anxiety, right? She feels something's wrong in the world, mommy, and I don't know what's going on. I like to play. I like to I'm not supposed to right now, and it's weird out there. Uh, so I am supposed to buy her white rice. I'm not generally a carb-eating girl. So I don't have anything like that on hand. Again, the store, nothing, no rice. So uh, I went by Smart and Final, and thankfully, I was able to find rice. And we were online, and you know, I think it's much like all the stores and all the descriptions you're hearing, there was a line. And I was okay with that. I knew ahead of time what it was gonna be like. There's no reason, you know, just hanging out. And there was somebody who had been on a line and and everybody said, he was an older gentleman. And they said, is it okay if he goes first? And I was like, of course. And the other people said, yeah, please, you know, go. And it was just nice to see humanity. I really like this coming together that we're being free. Facebook page that a friend of mine from high school, I grew up in New York on Long Island and a friend of mine and I'm still friends with people there. Uh, he started a Facebook page that what that literally is called "What Do You Need?" And you go on the Facebook page, and people are saying, "I'm, I teach blah 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 in high school. I can tutor anybody." Wow, that's so generous. I um, I made a ton of this kind of food, and we're, there's no way we're going to eat it all. You're more than welcome to either come here or send a lift to pick it up to bring it to you. I mean, really kind things like that. And somebody says, where can I get some weed? <laughs> oh my God, people, <laughs> really? <laughs> I guess the cannabis dispensaries are closed or something. I don't, I don't know, I don't smoke pot. But it was kind of hilarious. Um, <laughs> in a world where there's so many people and desires, you never know what's gonna come up. So there is that. So, I hearken back to what is it that you are experiencing and what is begging to be healed? That's really what it's a pitch response, the thing that comes up. It could be anger, by the way. There could be a lot of anger and resentment. There could be a lot of resistance. There could be um, many things, but important. And it's important how we show up for each other. So if you're having feelings, you know, rather than having a feeling and resisting it, which actually locks things in place, it paralyzes stuff in our body and that's not good either, we don't want a lower immune system. Just allow, like, allow it to passage, I always thought this was amazing, in the 12 step programs, in the big book of, uh, what do they call that big book? Well, we'll just call it the AA big book. Uh, there was, there's a passage that reads, and acceptance is the answer to all my problems for today. I'm not an alcoholic, by the way, but I really did love the big book. And I thought that was an amazing remark. And I just always used to think, oh, you know, that means I'm supposed to let go. That means I'm supposed to accept. That means I'm supposed to surrender. But then one day, I used to have a problem with anger. I think I probably still do to a certain degree, but it's so much better. Like anger is the strangest reaction because there's a ferocity behind it right and maybe for many of us it's like if i go there i could leave people in my wake this could be really intense so but i mean i'm much better at acknowledging and knowing and being with and saying it makes sense 
exactly what I did. This is a long time ago. I suddenly thought, what if an acceptance is the answer to all my problems for today literally meant like everything. You're angry? Cool. Stop trying to dissociate. Sit down. Okay, how do I feel it? Well, just say to yourself to start with, Debbie, I'm angry. And I would say, I'm really angry right now. Great. I would coach myself. And then I would say, okay, Debbie, now say it makes sense that you're angry because, and fill in the blank. And I would say, it really does make sense that you're angry because this happened, that happened, and they said, and they did, and they didn't show up. And then they hurt your feelings. And whatever the situation was, I would start to I feel it. Now I access it. And I would just allow myself to literally be. And here was the shocking thing. I, I only did that for one reason. And allow myself to accept it rather than resist it and be in parallelization with it and solidify it. I was going to allow it to flow through me instead. And here's what's amazing and was not expected, transmuted like that. The moment I said that, I am angry. The moment I said, yeah, it makes sense you're right. why, X, Y, Z. And the moment I allowed myself to breathe and sit and be in it, I mean, when I say minutes, whew, anger, what anger? It was just done in my body, in my being. Because you know you're not done when you're still walking around ruminating. I'm still thinking about this person. I'm still thinking about this situation. I still resent them. I still, you know, when it keeps coming up through the day and through the night and through that, that's not really being with what is. So you can fill in the blank with whatever the feeling is and just allow it to be an experience for today. What is the angel who's standing over your and you're trying to come up through the ground and you're hitting something that is prevalent because it's an oft felt emotion by you that is unresolved. That's waiting to be healed and dealt with. That's what to take on. So, thanks to you who are joining, I really appreciate it. It's really nice to have you here. No matter the noise that you are hearing outside, no matter the noise that you are hearing outside, frankly, no matter the noise that you are hearing even inside right now, I know that inside of you beats a loving warrior of light. And you know and you feel the role of leader amidst the storm. So continue knowing your gifts and putting them out there because you are not alone. All of creation is with you. Like, don't forget, don't fall into the lapse, the idea of isolation. Oh my God, I'm totally separate. No, source is with you, the angels are with you, guides are with you, all that is is with you, your spirit animals, whatever is your jam. You are so not alone. Definitely all of the universe and creation are with you right now. And we are all here as one right now. And as one, we will grow. And as one, we will make changes. Our connection will grow even here, right? It's really nice to be with you guys. I am... Um, Get out of this so I can see the chats. Okay, well, I'm going to pull a card for today. And by the way, if, if anybody has any questions today, tonight, or another time, I would love you to ask me because um, that's why I'm here. Being visible is, is my thing. Camera, stage, writing books, being interviewed, and you may have really specific questions about that. I have had people reach out, like, is this a good time to do this right now? Should I? You know, so. Yeef. 
<laughs> it is a great time because guess what? What are people when when you don't have much to do, right? You're going to fall back in the times when there were candles and I mean, I suppose you could live your whole life watching TV, but that I'm certainly not. But there's a lot of people people are going to be turning to things like podcasts to tune in and listen. So yes, let your voice be heard 100%. And also the next question they asked if this is helpful is Oh, well, should I be predicating my headline to get booked on what's going on outside in the world? And I know what these people do. Absolutely parlay brilliantly what they do out in the world to the virus. I always say it's really smart to capture a headline. And it's also really smart to know the show because you may get on a show and on that particular show, it is not what they do. They are not a newsy show. Maybe it won't come up. I did a great interview with somebody three days ago for my Dare to Dream podcast. And by the way, I'll, I'll print the, uh, the So if you want a resource that's free, and I got to say, with great joy, my show finally hit a big number. And why that's important is because uh, you can start monetizing, you can start having ads running on your shows, you can start, you know, being eligible for this and that, and like, it's important. And I, I worked like to get those numbers up there. So I'm happy about that. I'm really happy about that. And, um, but, but that's all just a celebration on my part, you know, that work pays off when you do, do a good show, you have great guests and great conversations that happens, but I would love you to join me there. I'd love you to subscribe to my youtube.com slash Debbie Dashinger channel. And there's tons of free inspiration there for you. So yes, I did a great interview with somebody three days ago and our subject was really about being a speaker, being a TEDx speaker and also a lot of inspiration, but you know, I'm not a newsy show, but I went there. I felt like this is really a service to people right now. And it's really a fascinating conversation as a speaker. Speakers, all of their jobs have been canceled. And I want to know from him, how are you doing? How's this impacting you? And it actually isn't. It turns out he has multiple streams of income and because it's a huge project right now, anyway however that said we went into a lot of what is possible actually I had a lot of great things to say for speakers so you know I'm telling you for people out there who you may want to be go full steam ahead I think that's wonderful I think that's smart and also offer them besides a headline that may connect what your brilliance is to the virus right now what your knowledge is you might also want to have something that is completely different, that is just about you instead, right? So they give them some options. But yes, do be interviewed. And uh, before I read the card, I want to show you something, and you can do this at home because this is really cool. So this is something that it reminds me like if you're a waitress, right? order form. I'm just trying to see where you can actually see the words. Draw on the magical powers of the universe to help you create all your life's wishes and dreams. And then you open it up and it says universe order pad. This is an old birthday gift someone gave me a, a godzillion years ago with a bunch of other things. And I still have it. Obviously, I haven't written too many orders to the universe. So how does it get any better than doing it right now? And this is what it says. My order to the universe. You put your name. You put your date. With much gratitude, I allow the universe to bring to me. And you write up your list of five received by the abundant, remember, operative word, abundant universe. And then you say, thank you, universe. Beautiful, right? And you can do this at home. You don't need your pad. What I love about the pad, though, I will say, is that once you write up your order, you get to keep a copy. <laughs> So, you know, you put it, maybe you mail it to the South Pole. I'm going to ask all of you 
we kind of have to, well, we have to decide which cards we want to use. I have so many cards we could pull, but these are, I just picked the two that felt that had the feel, angels, hmm, or medicine cards, hmm. They both feel pretty yummy. I'm going to start with the angels, and, and, and if I'm called to do both, then I will. But all I want to know is what's the message for you right now? So here's the dealio. I need to ask you. I don't know why I get these cards out, and I suddenly want to break into a Broadway song. I feel like Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist on TV. Except I want to sing something weird from any sense food glorious food hot sausage and mustard why that song while we're in the mood i don't know where that came from <laughs> there there's no rhyme or reason but welcome to my head okay here's the cards everybody i'm going to even ask the people the peoples in the replays put your energy in this because i'm pulling this for yous here's your message for today Okay, and now I'm going to shuffle it three times. Tres. You may think I sp speak Spanish, but I do not. I do understand it, though, when people speak it. I just can't. I love Italian. That's the language I would learn. <gasps> Maybe that's what I should be doing. Maybe I need to add that to my list. <gasps> I love that. I really do want to learn Italian. Are you kidding? Oh my God. I'm going to buy a house there. I went to Italy for a 16 day trip and I got to tell you that life. That was like, I mean, look at this face, right? Man, did I feel like I had come home. That place was so right and familiar to me. Oof. Okay. I can sing a really good song called Mambo Italiano. <laughs> we really should do karaoke here. Okay, so I didn't pick out a card for you, but anyway, I did shuffle, and I want your energy yet again because I broke out into song and dance and lots of tangents. All right, so what is the card for my people? Really? Okay, you are it. Thank you very much. Oh, this is a nice card. You did good, I think. We'll read what it is. Guardian Angel. It's really beautiful. Okay. If you were a guardian angel, where would you be? Grow, grow. How are you guys doing? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If if you if someone claps their hands and you're in a forest, can you hear it? Okay. Guardian Angel. It's dark in here. Holy the moly. I actually have to get my my phone. I need to get my phone. And put on my lights, my flashlight. That's my guardian angel. Here's the card meaning that you all picked. Your guardian angels. Oh, I like it. You got plurals, people. So good going there. You don't just got one. It said your guardian angels want you to know how much they love you right now. Hope your hand is on your heart and you're receiving this, right? They want you to know how much they love you right now. Your angel's love is complete. All in you. Wow. There's never accidents with this. Get down, people. You are not alone. You drew this card as a love letter from your guardian angels who want you to know we're right here. We have never left you and can never leave you that you deserve their help and attention. 
There is nothing that you could have ever thought, said, or done that could ostracize you from your divine helpers. They never judge or abandon you for the mistakes you make to support you so that you can spiritually grow and help others. That, my friend, is deeply apropos. So that was your guardian angel card. And I really, really, really feel moved, moved to pick a medicine card. Look, I love animals so much. Dudes, I'm pursuing this really major wolf guy. I'm not going to say too much till I book him, but I think I've booked him on my show. I am. Um, I love to dream about what guests I want on. This guy is like big, 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 big. I'm not going to say too much, and I really want to. But, um, yeah, I'll just say it's man, and it has to do with wolves. And I cannot wait because I think I'm going to be able to go to his facility, if you want to call it that, where he has real wolves. And I think this is going to happen. So I kind of wait. My show is also crazy booked, which is Bananarama. Okay. So these are medicine cards, right? So um, I would ask you, this is animal medicine. And I would ask you to please put your energy into these cards. Replay people, same. Beautiful. Now I'm going to shuffle. Okay, here we go. Stop, be so serious. All right, my darlings. What's okay? It's so funny how one almost lights up and says, Yeah, me. No clue. This is <laughs> okay. I don't know what that means. It's, we got a very smelly card. So skunk. You don't know. All animals are beautiful. All right, skunk. Tell me the story so I will know it well of how to attract and how to repel. Skunk is all about reputation. Skunk medicine, go ahead and laugh. This furry little animal has a reputation that contains a great deal of power. This tiny, smelly creature, a wide berth. The key word here is respect. Okay, honey. The skunk. <laughs> Unlike other predatory animals, skunk does not threaten your life, but threatens your senses. You know this to be true if you have ever been in the vicinity of its spray. In observing the habit patterns of skunk, it is easy to notice the playfulness and nonchalance of its natural behavior. The I dare you attitude of this four-legged creature commands you as the observer to respect its space by mere reputation alone. Skunk is teaching you that by walking your talk and by respecting yourself, ooh, this is deep, you will create a position of strength and honored reputation. The carriage of your body relates to others what you believe about yourself. Aggravate, torment, or overpower other beings when your sense of self is intact. As with skunk, Senses. Self-esteem permeates your body's energy and is instantly recognized on an extrasensory level by others. Learn to assert without ego what you are. Respect follows. Your self-respect attitude will repel those who are not of like mind and yet will attract those who choose the same pathway. 
As the odor of skunk attracts others of its kind, it repels those who will not respect its space. They have the ability to attract others and they're very charismatic. At the same time, the other side of their natural power is to repel those who seek to take energy from them without recycling the gifts they have taken. Skunk medicine also know how to use the energy that will attract a lover. Well, this is very apropos for me. <laughs> Some people call this sexual magic as it is akin to the musk scent that animals mate. It can be dangerous to leak sexual energy if you are not looking for a mate. That is true. It puts you into a games condition, not my jam, that may feed your ego, but not how others feel about you. If you are attracting others who have an interest in you, you are in a sense saying, I'm available. This can cause hard feeling, feelings when the truth comes out. It also leaks energy that you could have used in a more constructive way. In skunk medicine, it is good to learn how to handle energy flows. Modern psychologists call this body language. In tribal teachings, this is your personal, me personal medicine, which you are showing to others. Use your medicine well and you use your energy will attract either honor or disgrace. You may that creates your present situation. If you've chosen this symbol, and you have, you're being asked to notice the kinds of people who are attracted to you. Hmm. If they have favorable characteristics, have enough self-esteem to recognize those characteristics within yourself. Walk tall and be proud of the accomplishments you have made. Bear in mind that what you believe about yourself is your ultimate protection. Project self-esteem, self-respect. Okay. This fabulous dealio there. And that's really it. I'm going to um, take off now and say arrivederci, che la luna mezzamari, and willkommen, and all of that stuff, and shalom, and that no matter what noise you're feeling inside or healing, hearing on the outside, healing is actually the operative word, inside of you beats the light. Inside of you beats the leader. That amidst this whole storm, you're the one people turn to. So continue to do what you're doing because you're not alone. All of creation is with you. You have an angel over your shoulder saying, grow grow. What practice have you always wanted to do that you have not really had the time or capacity or willingness? And are you willing right now to step in? Action creates amazing things, right? Amazing things. We are truly all one and all one in love in energy and beingness. So Trust that the feelings that are coming up for you, if they feel uncomfortable, yes, totally reach out because there's so many beautiful people here for us right now. And also, rather than resisting it exactly as it is, allow it to go through your body and out and know that this too shall pass and that when it comes up, it is begging to be healed. That's all. It's just something you've been experiencing for a really long time. If you guys have any questions, if, that you want addressed, if you want to post below, I love you. I'm with you. Dashinger signing out from the Visible Visionaries. <laughs>